What's going on, everyone? It's Marsh Salas back with another video. Today, we're going to be going over some technical analysis for Baby Doge. So definitely go ahead and stick around to the end of the video. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section. If you want to become a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and do that. I'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over next, as long as it's not some scam coin. And also, this video is brought to you by marcellus.beatstars.com. If you need background music for your YouTube videos or you just need beats for your music. And also, if you want your crypto to be officially yours, then definitely go ahead and get that Ledger Nano X or S link inside of the description. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Let's go over Baby Doge, though. So I want to talk about a few things here with Baby Doge, and we're really just going to stick on the technicals today. I'm not going to go over anything else but the technicals, okay? So first thing I want to talk about is where we're at right now and how we got here. So look at this red area here. The red area indicates supply and demand of less demand. Notice how we are inside of this less demand area. Notice how we've been inside of this less demand area or less demand area ever since we came into July. So now you're seeing we were trading sideways, but we really could not get above this resistance here. So we got rejected and that ended up putting us on a downturn here. And now the 24 hour market control is in control by the bears by 100 percent, whereas we were only controlled by the bears by like 80 or 60 percent previously. So now that we're in control by the bears by 100 percent, showing that we're 100 percent bearish. So. If we were to become bullish, Baby Doge first needs to break past this level here. So we had some minor support here around the 29th of June. So this is really just going to be used as our support, our resistance now. So now we're going to have to use that support as resistance. And actually, if you zoom in all the way over here, it was actually used as resistance and support on the 24th of June. So notice how we broke out of it here because it was our resistance. And then we then turned that into our support and then used that area as support right here. And that area that I'm talking about is 1440. So that is a critical 1440, 1450. But yeah, that's a critical level that Baby Doge needs to pass right now. And it's actually a level that we're having a hard time trying to pass. So we're really struggling trying to get past it. So actually, if you look over here, that is very lightly shaded. So it looks a lot different. But that's kind of a good thing that it's very lightly shaded, this red area. So you could probably barely see it. But it's there. It's there. You can see it. So if we were to become bullish with Baby Doge, you would see it immediately just pass this area and get back, get back up here to the next resistance level and the next supply and demand or less demand. And that's all the way up here at 1550. That's where we were at previously. And that's where our resistance is now, 1550. So we need to get past 1550. Now, if we can get past 1550, then what you're going to see for Baby Doge is the next leg up. And that looks like this. That brings you all the way up here to the next resistance line. And that resistance line then brings you up to 1770 resistance. Now, that's the one that we were trying to get past for a while now. Like for the last few days, we've been like stuck trying to get past that area, but we just couldn't do it. And that's actually kind of what sent us on the downturn here. So that's pretty much what Baby Doge has to do to become bullish. Now, if Baby Doge continues on the path that it's going, we do have support immediately down here. Just like how you seen that it was met the second we got all the way down here to 1350. We hit that support at 1350. So there's still support at 1350 for Baby Doge. So that's where we need to see our support if we're going to go down on a bearish path. And then from there, you're going to see 1250. 1250 is where the Fibonacci retracement level is at. So remember, this is just the 15M chart, so it is very short term. Now, if you go over here and look at the four hour chart for Baby Doge, you're going to see something a lot different. So I pretty much created this um, tr these trend pattern here, and it kind of looks like Baby Doge is inside of this descending triangle here. So I want to talk a little bit about this triangle. So right now what you're seeing with this triangle and baby doge, we're ending the near, like the end of it, like we're nearing the end of it. So right now though, I think baby doge is more likely going to hit the bottom of this trend first, and then it's going to start bouncing off the top. It's going to look crazy. We're about to have some volatile times here in baby doge, but I feel like it's going to go something like this, hit the bottom of the trend here around 1420, and then trying to get back up here to the top, maybe hitting the top and then like trading between the middle of it before we get to the end of this trend and really what you want to what you want to know about baby doge is what's going to happen at the end of the trend so i think at the end of this trend for this consolidation i think that this could lead us on to our next bullish run for baby doge and it's probably not going to be some huge bull run like you know some crazy stuff but it's probably just going to be something little small and minuscule and the reason why i think that is because baby doge the whole baby doge army the whole Baby Doge squad, you know, like the Baby Doge developers, they mentioned that they're going to be releasing the Baby Doge swap sometime soon. They said the Baby Doge swap is coming sometime soon, so it should come out this month. So if we get the Baby Doge swap this month, then we're definitely going to see us breaking out of this consolidation on the upside. And you're going to see us getting up here to this next resistance. And that's all the way up here at the 2300 level. So we could see 2300 coming for Baby Doge soon. 
So definitely watch out for that. And, you know, this can be done if we have a bullish, you know, a bullish trajectory with Baby Doge. So hopefully we can, but uh, we're just going to have to see. So we're just going to have to see if they can actually release the Baby Doge swap this month. Because if they do, that's definitely a bullish signal. Now, on top of that, there's also a little bit of, like a little bit more for Baby Doge going on that could send us up to the moon. And, you know, the Baby Doge debit card, they're talking about making that as well. And the wallet or the debit card was actually supposed to come out soon as well. So whenever the swap comes out, that's going to be huge for us. And then the wallet, that's going to be huge as well. And that's going to help Baby Doge go and take off. But anyways, let's talk about Bitcoin a little bit. As you can see, Bitcoin is now forming up a new red area here. So in the case that that's now our new resistance. So now instead of going all the way up here and trying to pass this level of 19.8K, trying to get back up to 20K, now Bitcoin just has to try to get past 19.5K because you can see we were reject rejected at 19.5K. So that's our next resistance for uh, Bitcoin, 19.5K. So if we hit that, I feel like we're going to get rejected again. You can even see here on the oscillator is preparing to be rejected, which is kind of crazy. So what I mean by it's preparing to be rejected, you can see that the purchasing is starting to go down and down. The, pur the purchasing pressure is actually starting to weaken. And now you're seeing selling a selling wave coming on for Bitcoin. So this is probably going to end up bringing us all the way back down to our support down here. And we have support for Bitcoin down here at about 19K. So it's probably going to end up bringing us back down to 19K. So you do want to prepare for 19K Bitcoin. But yeah, other than that, what you're seeing here with Baby Doge um, down 7.4% for the last 24 hours, you got to remember whenever B Bitcoin is doing something like Baby Doge is doing that times 10. Bitcoin is moving sideways or just barely down. Then Baby Doge is doing that times 10. That's why you see Baby Doge down 7.4%. Bitcoin only down 0.3% because Baby Doge is doing everything Bitcoin's doing, but that times 10. That's when the, that's why when the bull market comes, you know, Bitcoin's gonna only be doing like a 5%, you know, possibly even 10% per day, but you're gonna see Baby Doge hitting 10% on the average and then 20% for its highs. So this is something that's gonna be crazy when we start going on that bull market. But well, anyways, this is all I got for you all today. Definitely hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you all want me to go over next. If you want to become a member of the channel, definitely go ahead and do that. I'll go over any crypto that the members want me to go over next, as long as it's not a scam coin. And if you want your crypto to be officially yours, remember, not your crypto, not your keys. Definitely go ahead and get you a Ledger Nano wallet. I got the Ledger Nano X, so check out that link in the description. And I would say definitely check that out because uh, you really do not do not want your crypto on exchanges. You've seen what happened to Voyager uh, and you're seeing what's happening with a lot of these other exchanges. So you definitely want to protect yourself. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. As always, I'll be back with another video.